YouTube. What's cracking? Welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm Colin, your Game Pass guru. Thanks for your patience. It's been a while. I've been very sick and I've been very busy. And now I am sick of being busy. So let's talk video games. Every so often there is a game that you were not prepared for. Whether it's the medium as a whole or it's the experience you thought you were going to have just from the genre. Take for instance thinking that you are going to set out into a science fiction RPG setting and just have a little bit of fun and then finding yourself deeply affected by the Commander Shepard that you created in Mass Effect. Or thinking I'm just going to play a little zombie game set in a comic book universe and then being willing to rip your shirt off and fight the entire world to defend your Clementine in The Walking Dead. Or for me, one of the most memorable experiences in recent history was thinking I was going to play just a little horror game with some gross rats and have some fun and being deeply affected by a plague tale. If you haven't played the original, then like this video, add it to your watch later list, then share it with that one friend that you have that's been badgering you for years to play this game and then come back after you have. Come to think of it, if you don't have a friend that's been badgering you to play this game for years, then go ahead and sub to the channel because I will make sure that you don't miss out on any more opportunities like this. Plague Tale Innocence came, well, mostly out of nowhere and surprised a large portion of the gaming community, which isn't really that far off. We couldn't have had that great of expectations for a story driven game coming from the creators of Garfield, A Tale of Two Kitties or The Crew. I'm really not going to say too much about the game because, again, you should play this. The first one is, is remarkable. And I know it's probably been in your Steam library or you've seen it on Xbox Game Pass and gone, I should play that. But don't let this be one of those games that just sits in your queue waiting for you to have the opportunity because, well, what are you waiting for? Stop saying you mean to play games because if you mean to play the game, you would play the game. Okay got weird. I might be dealing with stuff. If you're at this point in the video, then you've played the original. Then you've, if you're at this point in the video, then you've played the original. Or you just don't trust dudes telling you that a game is something that you should play. So either way, hey, welcome to this portion. I clearly take spoilers for this series very seriously. And so it's going to be a challenge for me to show you any of Plague Tale Requiem the sequel now available on Game Pass. So I'm only gonna show you a couple of out of context clips from no more than the first 20 minutes of the game. This is just how it starts. Now, spoilers for the conclusion of one. If you remember the end of the first game, like I did, with definitely no need to look up a refresher on all of the little details because <laughs> I'm a genius then you will remember that Hugo and Amicia have escaped off into the world free of consequence and definitely never going to be affected again in the future by the death and the Black Plague, which he may have created. We're to blame. It's us. But they left all that in their wagon's rear view mirror and have moved off to the beautiful countryside, free from all consequence. What are the chances Before people have just lost track of a castle? Hugo, you're gonna sweat like a hog. I am sweating like a hog. <laughs> it's good for you. The first thing you are obviously going to notice about this is how gorgeous this game is. The character models, the lighting. Look at the way that this greenery just lightly blows around us in the world. This game is visually stunning. And also, early on, I want to make sure that I give credit to the vocal performances of this acting duo. As someone with a little experience acting myself, I can't wrap my head around how stellar these performances are, especially Charlotte McBurney as Amicia. Her diction around whispered dialogue is phenomenal in this experience. The game reminds you of the core mechanics at the heart of this series with this lighthearted romp out through the countryside as Hugo builds leaf boats and we whip them down with the trusty sling always at our side. And we meet this weird kid 
that decides he wants to play with us. I should address the elephant in the room for those who have beaten the original. You are not going to have the same kind of control that you had at the end of the first one. But for me personally, that's not cheapened by not having it at the start because everything is good for our characters here. There, there is no need to have the control of the Mecula if there is no Whoa, Mecula. But you hear that buzzing? Huge. That's flies. Flies are back. Right. And we all know that those are a sign that things Judge. don't bode well for anyone in the world of the Plague Tale. Because this is a game very quickly on, Judge. things go very, very awry. Like for this dude who's going through a breakup with his face. Oh God. Oh God. That's how we make sure they don't come back. Again, everything I'm going to show you here is completely out of context. And I don't want to be the one that gives anything away for you because this, this is a roller coaster of investment with shifting stakes. This game is an accomplishment. It's, it's really something special. It's important to note that not only are the stakes changing, but so too is the world and our characters within it. For example, see Amicia's execution of this guy with her sling strings. Plague Tale has always been a story of beauty in pain. And this game has both of those in spades. Look at that. If this experience gives you anything like yes. the original did with the return of the horrible, horrible violence in this world around our characters, then strap in and prepare to find yourself fully invested. Out there. Looks like it leads back inside. Boom! Just like that, another video done. Now, if you're watching this one and you think to yourself, boy, he really didn't show me anything, well, you're welcome. I know on this channel I have said that a lot of games are good. I, as a person, am trying to find the good in things in the world these days. As someone who's trying to make things, I really want to appreciate the things that are made for us. But this does not require very much searching to find the good in. This game deserves to be played. This is an experience. This, this is special. Both of these games have a very high and important place to me in the pantheon of games that I have played. Plague Tale as a series brings new life into the medium of video games, reminding us of how impactful it can be to have control over a person's characteristics and therefore determining our interpretation of their character. This is an absolutely wonderful series made with passion and dare I say, a worthy successor to the Garfield Tale of Two Kitties franchise. That's all for me. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thank you for patiently waiting while we get to this video. Thanks for listening to the podcast, joining into the stream and all the other support that you give me. I appreciate you guys so very, very much. Congratulations to Glomdi for winning the free Game Pass experience. Shout out to More Than Amia for having sponsored that giveaway. I'll be back with the next one before you know it. See ya.